and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. So the wrath will come forth. What you have? While you hasten, what you the have? wrath will come forth. So brother, you better you repent, brother. Gotcha. I agree. Repent. It, it has outlawed. Believe me. I'm a believer. Excuse me. I'm a believer. They have. They put the Hold up. On me. Let the word. Let the word. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. A what? A sinful man will not be reproved. A sinful man will not be reproved. A you hear the laws, but you do not want to be reproved. Read. But findeth an excuse according to his will. Oh, I need a hairnet. Oh, um. Like it's about my job. That's an excuse. That is a sinful man. Bro, you gotta repent, brother. I you agree. gotta repent. I agree. I, I trust me. I agree 100. Just um, y'all know y'all are Israel. Trust me. What's your um nationality? Jewish. You're Jewish. And how do you know that? I'm American black. You are American yeah, black, but uh, um, by the Bible, can you prove in the Bible that you're Judah, that you are an Israelite? Can you prove that? Yes, you can. That's proof. That's proof. Deuteronomy 28. Let's start at verse 15. Hmm? Curses. Curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh huh. But it shall come to pass, uh huh, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh huh, to observe, to do all His commandments, uh huh, and His statutes, and His statutes, uh huh, which I command thee this day, uh huh, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So these curses will come what? Overcome us upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. So these will happen to the Israelites. These here, curses here, will only happen to the Israelites. So let's get some more. Let's go to uh, verse 16. Verse 16. Yes, sir. Curse. Hold on. One second. Shalt thy be in the city uh -huh. and curse shall thy be in the field. He said curse shall you be in the city. Look around you, brother. Where we at right now? That's right. Who in who in this city right here is um cursed? Who is cursed? We are cursed. All of these nations are above us. Woo. Why is that? That's right. Why? Because of our disobedience oh, we were we to the law, statute, judgment. Why? Because we didn't do the laws. Oh, we didn't do the laws. So these the law. curses fall upon us. Yeah, that's exactly. right. See, read. That's right. right. Curse shall be thy best and thy store. Uh huh. Well. Jump down to um 37 where it's talking about the um uh, by word by word of proverbs. Verse 37. Uh huh. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, a proverb, and a byword. And a byword. These right here, brother, are bywords. Mm -hmm. These are not our names that God has exactly. placed on us. Yes. So being called a black Indian, Negro, uh, Jamaican. Color. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, hold on. Jamaican. These are bywords. These are not what God has put on us. Mm -hmm. That is a curse. That's right. You get that? That is a curse. Can you read it? Among all nations. Among all nations. Wherever you go, there will be a byword on the Israelites. Amen. So every nation you go to, there will be a byword placed. Amen. It's just here we're black. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Jamaica. In Jamaica. They are bywords. They're mm -hmm. not our God given names like Judah, Benjamin, Levi, so on. Alright? Whether the Lord shall lead thee. Uh huh. Verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore, thou shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. He called us what? The enemies. We're going to serve our enemies. Not our friends. Our enemies. But our enemies. Right. Read. And hunger. And hunger. The last thing you ate. What you eat? The last thing you ate. Texas Roadhouse. Who? Texas Roadhouse State. All right, now, who owns that? The white man, right? Why is that? Because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments. Bro, so we That's have right. to get uh, uh, the food from our enemies. That's right. Keep reading. And in thirst. And in thirst. This right here, we don't own this. We got this from another people. Mm. That is a curse, man. That's, right. That's not a good thing. That's a curse. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. The uh, shirt you got on is not from you. Mm. It's not from your nation of people. Mm. It's from the enemies. That's what God called them. Enemies. That's right. Read. Enemies. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. The license you got. That's in your wallet. Where did you get it from? You got it from the white man. Alright? Of all things. Anything that you ever want. Desire. 
comes from your enemies. That is a curse, man. Nehemiah 5 and 9. We're going to explain who our the enemies are. We're going to explain it. Who are our enemies according to the Bible? Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. Uh-huh. Also I said, it is not good that ye, that ye do are ye not to walk in the fear of our God uh -huh. because of the reproach of the heathen. Of the who? The heathen. The heathen, uh-huh. Our enemies. So who are the heathen? Every nation outside of these right here are the heathen. Right. Our enemies. Right. That's right. what the Bible says. So, so we should not try to join with them. They are our enemies. That's what the Bible says. Give me Psalm 83. Psalms 83. And let's explain who are the enemies. So let's get some more. Chapter 83, verse 2. Uh huh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. So who is who? Thy enemy, the Lord's enemies, uh huh, make a tumult, uh huh, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head, uh huh. They have taken crafty counsel. They taken crafty counsel against who? Against thy people, against the children of Israel. Amen. They taken crafty Amen. counsel against the Israelites. Please ah, ah. and consulted against thy hidden ones, uh huh. They have said, come and let us cut them off. For being a nation. And that's exactly what they done. They cut us off for being a Language. nation. We do culture. not know that we are the Israelites. Right. God's chosen. We're Ooh. thinking that we're niggas. We're thinking that we're spicks. And we're not so. Mm. The Bible tells us differently. Mm. You understand that? Right. We are the children of Israel. Right. Well, Christ came for us and us alone. That's right. Right. And that's it. That's right. Deuteronomy uh -huh. chapter 22 verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So this is a law that God has told the Israelites. Read it one more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what do women wear? Israelite women, what do they wear that what belongs to a man? They got their pants hanging down. Mm -hmm. They wear pants, pants. right? Yes. Read that one more time. Read that one more time. Down. The woman uh -huh. shall not, shall not, where that which pertaineth unto a man, right? Uh huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man wear dresses. That is the law of God. And uh, women say, "Well, no, these are women pants. There's no such thing as women pants. That's right. right. No such thing. Right. That's like there's no such thing as men dresses. Right. So what's the difference? Y'all get y'all get that? Yeah. Women do not supposed to wear pants. All right. Let's get another law. Let's get something else. Oh, uh, the beer. The beer. We're going to bring out laws to try to keep you from sin. The sin is the wages of death. Um, Amen. Death is the wages of sin. Amen. Sin is the wages of death. I'm sorry. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. Leviticus Amen. chapter 21 verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make boldness upon their heads. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shape off the corner. Of their beard. We're supposed to have full beards. We are not supposed to cut off our beards. That is a law of God. Mm -hmm. When 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 this was happening, we just left what? Egypt. Egypt was balling their face and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the most high God said that we are supposed to be holy. Separation. Separate. We're not there you go. Look like Separation. Else. Uh, We're supposed to look separate. That's right. That's right. Alright. That's right. So let's get another law. That's a good one. The Sabbath day. That's a good one. Exodus 20. Does anybody know what today is? It's the Sabbath day. It is the what? Seventh day of the week. Let's bring it out. Verse 8. Exodus chapter 20. Verse 8. Uh huh. Remember the Sabbath day. It's holy. To keep it holy. So we are to keep the. Sabbath day holy. How do we keep it holy? Keep reading on um, six days. Keep reading. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So six days we can labor and work. Read. Right. But the seventh day. But the what? The right. seventh day. Uh huh. Is the Sabbath of the Lord. It's the Sabbath of the Lord. Read. Right. Thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So we should do no work whatsoever. Let's sit on that. 
No, thy, thy man, thy, thy son. That's it. Let's get on um, more on it. Give me um 1623. We're going to bring out what else? How do we keep the Sabbath day holy? Let's bring it out. 1623. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Uh-huh. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath. Uh-huh. Unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. So we got to bake that before what? The Sabbath day. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And see that you will see. And that which remain over lay up for you and be kept unto the morning. To be kept unto the morning. So we cook the day before. Because on that day, this day, we do not supposed to cook whatsoever. That is keeping the Sabbath day holy. We are not to cook at all. Okay? Yeah, Nehemiah. Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Uh huh. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals uh -huh. on the Sabbath day to on, sell, uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So we do not supposed to buy nor sell on this day right here. That's keeping it holy. Amen. Or on the holy day. Uh huh. And that we would leave in the seventh year on the on the exaction of uh -huh. every day. So that is another uh, 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 law that we are to keep on the Sabbath day. Israel. Not to buy ourselves. Israel. Not to cook. All right? Israel. Not to work. You understand? That's right, Israel. All right? Let's get that off. So now we got the new moon coming up. All right? Does anybody know what that is? The new moon? Anybody? No. It's a holy day. No, no, no. It's not the Passover. No, no. Give me that in um, the, rock. the new moon. 40, uh, 41. We're going to show you what the new moon is. How do we observe the new moon? Chapter 43, verse 6. Uh -huh. He made the moon also to serve in her season uh -huh. for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. Mm -hmm. So the moon was made for what? The beginning of months. Amen. So when, whenever you see a new moon, it's the beginning of months. That's it right. is not what you see, you know what I'm saying, in these calendars now it's all jacked up the bible says that the moon dictates the months of the year that's right keep reading from the moon is the sign of peace uh-huh a light that decreases in her perfection uh-huh the month is called after her name read that again the month is called after her name what does that mean bro like after our uh, no 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 read it one more time you say that the month is what the month is called after her name. After her name, the moon. So the month, I mean, the moon dictates the month of the year. That's what that's saying. Every new moon is a new month. Right. But it's all jacked up now. Give me Daniel they made, they made, seven. They made, they made it up. Give me Daniel seven. They made it up. Daniel chapter seven verse, and verse, verse twenty-five. 25. Verse twenty-five. Uh huh. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Uh huh. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. The Israelites are the saints of the Most High God. Uh huh. Right. And think to change time. To do what? Change time. That's exactly what they did. Amen. They changing the time. Amen. That is wicked as hell. Yes. They are changing That's our right. time. They gave a scene to read it. And law. Uh huh. <laughs> and they shall be given into his hand until a time and a time and the dividing of time. So what we're bringing out is that these other nations have messed up our time. Bro, they jacked up the way we're supposed to tell time. As we just read, the new moon dictates the months. Right? right. Yeah, we just read it. Yes, sir. You know what? It's amazing because if you go back, we know they don't go by our calendar. They go by the Gregorian and the lunar calendar. Yeah, you know I mean, just like the days, the days of the week, I mean, after their gods, their deities. Am I lying? Sir, sir, okay. we need to be worried about the laws, man. Okay. That's That's right. Right. You're worried about the wrong thing. That's okay. right. You gotta worry about the laws because you did every week. Right. Every I'm week. just saying though, right. They changed, yeah, they did that to us. That's, That's true. true. I got but you have to keep the law. That is the most important thing. Does anybody know how to get in the kingdom? Matthew 19. Keep the command. Get up. We're going to bring it out. We're going to bring it out. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. This is what you should be worried about right here. And behold, 
one came and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master, uh -huh. what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he was asking, how do I get the kingdom? That's all he's asking. Read. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? So basically, that's saying what? There's no trinity doctrine mm -hmm. at all. Read. There is none good but the one. There's none good but the Father. Read. That is God. Uh-huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, uh -huh. keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the, the commandments. commandments. So, bro, that's what you need to be worried about. Amen. Keeping the commandments. Shalom. Keeping the commandments. That is what you should be worried about. That's what all you should be worried about. Keeping the commandments of God. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.